Hi, my name is Dr. Karen Joyce and I'm a geospatial scientist. Not sure what that means? Well, join me and you can see for yourself. Let's take a walk through the forest on Heron Island. So the island itself is a national park and this forest is made up largely of Personia trees. We've got on the fringes we have some, some Casuarinas and, and Argusias as well. Um, but as we get deeper and deeper it's, it's mostly the Personia trees. And as you'll see there are a lot of knotty birds, these little black ones with the white heads flying around me. As I walk along the path, you see indentations on the left-hand, right-hand side. And so this, this is where a lot of turtles lay their eggs in, in sort of around about the November time. So we're here in, in February at the moment, and this is the time when the, the hatchlings are coming out. So we also see some, some burrows from the shearwaters or mutton birds as well. So they make their nests in the evenings in, in the roots of the trees which is kind of crazy you see them all on the all on the ground in their little burrows at night time and you have to be careful not to not to trip over them i will see up as we get a little bit deeper into into the forest here where most of the the black knotty terns make their nests and we're walking through here so it's just after sunrise and you do walk through the forest a little bit at your own peril with so many birds around you're pretty lucky to walk through without receiving droppings from any of them so it's already happened to me twice this morning and it's it's not yet seven o'clock so if we start to start to look up now let's we'll see if we can see some of the noddies in the trees so you'll see all the all the black birds up in the trees there and you'll see their, their crazy nests which are uh, just just loads of loads of leaves and lots and lots of their poo as well and you'll see just how how white the leaves on on these trees are too so they make these the nests in their trees but the trees are also yeah they're also murderers so these trees um, get really sticky and the noddies can get stuck in the trees and so then when they die they they form i guess sort of part of the fertilizer for the trees as well so it's, it's nutrients for the trees for them to continue their growth. Now the trees don't have a really strong root system so you'll see that there's a lot of fallen trees around and being just on a, on a sand island which I guess the island's mostly made up of sand and, and bird poo um, the, the root systems don't get super strong in the ground and so they are prone to, prone to falling over it's a pretty cool forest to walk through and it gets super humid here during the day so at the moment it's it's not too bad it's really sheltered so we don't have too much too much wind in this area but as the day heats up without that breeze it really gets cooking in through here thanks for watching a day in the life of a geospatial scientist i hope you've enjoyed it and if you haven't already seen the other episodes please tune in below